हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर पंडित शिंदे डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग साइंसेस एआईसीएमएस आईओटी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज पुणे फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द नॉन एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड फर्स्ट डिग्री एंड इट्स सॉल्यूशन यूजिंग इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर मूव टुवर्ड्स द टॉपिक सो लुक एट हियर द गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन व्हेन यू फाइंड द यूजिंग इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर व्हेन यू फाइंड द इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर होप सो ऑल ऑफ यू क्लियर द आईडिया अबाउट द इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर इज नथिंग बट द सम फंक्शन such a function in uh, if you multiply non exact differential equation by such a function the differential equation become exact so therefore rule to finding the differential equation move towards the second rule uh, when you find out first integrating factor if given differential equation is non exact non exact means da by m by da by y is not equal to da by n by da by x for m dx plus n dy differential equation and then it we say that it is a non exact So how to do? Use integrating factor. Now to find different, there is some rules as per last video. I am saying five rules. So I am move towards the second rule. Rule two says that the given differential equation of the form, which form f one x y dx, some y into f one x y dx plus some x into f two x y dy. Me just I am comparing like this m dx plus n dy equal to zero. This is our differential equation. So The uh, variable y common from x and variable x common from n. If there is such type of differential equation is there, then we check x into m minus y into n, which is not equal to zero. If it is not equal to zero, then they will say that integrating factor is this one upon x into m minus y into n. Means in short, what I want to say that if there is a x common differential equation of this from properly. x y into f1 x y dx means this is our total m and x into f x dy this is our total n if this m dx plus n dy y common from m and x common from n r i then we move towards the rule 2 to, to find the integrating factor clear but uske pehle check it is non exact or not if it is non exact then go go towards the this uh, rule 2 And if you are going to rule two, integrating factor is one upon x into m minus y into n. So without waste time in this theoretical part, let us move towards the uh, example. Question is solve the following differential equation. Again, I am saying we check first it is exact or not. If it is exact, procedure is same. Checking first for exact, that is to find da by m by da by y and da by n by da by x. If it is equal, then exact and solve it. If it is not equal, then it is non-exact and go towards the Finding the integrating factor. So therefore, first this is the given differential equation: one plus x y bracket complete y dx one minus x y bracket x dy. So it is given in properly form. Look at here: y is common in m and x is common in n. So here definitely use the rule two. But when if it is non-exact, then first we check it is exact or not. So I'm just comparing with m dx. Plus n d y equal to zero. This equation one comparing with this. So equation one is therefore the value of m is one plus x y y and the value of n is one minus x y bracket complete x. Just I am simplifying it again. It is y plus x y square and it is x minus x square y. You find out what do you find out? Da by m by da by y partial derivative of m with respect to y is derivative of y is one. Derivative x is derivative of y is y square is two y. Similarly, find out partial derivative of n with respect to x to checking it is exact or not. Derivative of x is one with respect to x. Derivative of x square is two x. Then minus two y is constant as it is. So look at here in these two cases, it is one plus two x y. It is one minus two x y. So according to this here, da by m by da by y is not equal to da by n by da by x. So that implies equation one. Equation one is non-exact. So now to reduce in exact form, we want to find out the integrating factor. So concept is to find integrating factor i dot f. I'm using short form here. Integrating factor. So how to find integrating factor? I'm directly mentioning here rule two. Why rule two, guys? Because the differential equation of the form, whatever the given rule two, it is y into some function of x y dx plus x into some function of x y dy. So given equation in this form. So 
we use the rule two. For rule two, we have to check m into x minus n into y. So therefore, we know what is our m. M is y plus x y square into x minus n is one minus two x. Sorry, x minus x minus x square y into y. Just we simplify it. Multiply inside by x, so it is x y plus x square y square minus this x y minus minus become plus x square y square. This gets cancelled, so it is two x square y square, and which is not equal to zero. So in this case, the integrating factor is, or therefore the integrating factor is equal to one upon m into x minus n into y. So therefore, one upon two x square y square. Simply multiply again same. We want to reduce non-exact differential equation to reduce uh, non-exact to exact. So therefore, multiply equation one, which is non-exact, by integrating factor. What is integrating factor? One upon two x square y square. It will become exact. We know. So now, I'm here. One upon two x square y square, one upon two x square y square. You multiply equation one, so equation one is it is we know one plus x y y. So I'm write down like this. Write down this equation as y plus x y square dx plus X minus x square y dy is equal to is equal to zero. Is equal to zero. This is the our given differential equation. So multiply inside by one upon two x square y square. So one y gets cancelled. So remaining has one upon two x square y. Clear. Plus here is one x cancel y cancel. So it is one upon 2x dx plus inside is 1x cancel so it is 1 upon 2xy square minus x cancel so 1 upon 2y dy equal to zero equation two and we say that is exact differential equation directly why because we know if your integrating factor is correct and your simplification That simplification means y upon two x square y square is one upon two x square y. One y gets cancelled plus x and y square gets cancelled, so one upon two x only. Similarly, x cancelled, so two x y square is here minus x square cancel, y cancel, so one upon two y dy. If this calculation is correct, simplification is correct, then definitely it is exact. And now no need to check because in previous video we check it is exact or not. Definitely it is exact. So I'm saying this is exact differential. Equation. Once I'm calling this equation number two. Once it is exact, to find the solution. Look at here again. What I'm saying: given differential equation is non-exact. So using rule two, why rule two? Because uh, it is perfectly fixed in rule two definitions. Using rule two, we find out the integrating factor. And equation one, we have done. We integrating factor. We multiply. So non-exact differential equation become exact. Now we find out the solution. How to find the solution? We know again, solution is integration of m dx m with respect to x, keeping y constant, plus integration of n but the term free from x dy equal to some constant c. Just putting the value, okay. Just putting the value. So I'm taking m dash n dash because we will call it m dash n dash. Se. So therefore, it is. Y constant, so this differential equation become one upon two x square y square plus one upon two x dx plus the term free from x. This term x is so not going to come, so only remaining as one upon minus two y dy equal to some constant c. So therefore, here. Y constant, so one upon two and y outside integration of one upon x square dx. I'm taking separately, plus the integration of this one by two outside one upon x dx 
minus this one by two outside integration of dy by y equal to c. We know how to simplify it. So one upon two y integration of one upon x square minus two power increases by one. So it is minus one upon x minus one upon x is the integration of one upon x square. Clear, guys? Because power increases by one and then divide by this, so it is minus one. So minus one upon x dx plus this one by two. This is log x minus this one by two. This is log y equal to c. I am rewrite this as differential equation as minus one upon two x y. I am taking this one by two common. So it is log a minus log b. So it is log one by two common. So property is log x by y equal to c. This is the final answer. And if you want to throw out multiply by two, then also write down like this. So it is minus two of uh, this two two gets cancelled. Yeah, keep as it is, no problem. This become minus one upon x y plus log x y equal to two c, and this two c becomes some c one. So final answer is log of x by y minus one by x y equal to some c one. So this way we find out the solution of non-exact differential equation if it is in the form of some y into f of x y dx plus some x into f of x y dy using rule two of integrating factor. So hope so all of you understand it. So thank you guys. Thank you so much.